Hello everybody, Mr. Porkchop Boy here, and I have another Zippo review for you today. Now, as you can see here, this is a Zippo Sports Edition. Um, as you can see, there is a man playing basketball on the front of it. And just so you can see, it says Zippo Sports right there. Uh, but the, the Zippo is brand new. It was never used. As you can see there. Let's see if I can get that in focus. There we go. As you can see, it was never used. And this Zippo was from January of 2000, so it's a fairly old Zippo. Still works. If I put fluid in here, it would work. But this Zippo is going to be going in my collection. Um, on this um, insert, it says that it was made in J of XV. So that's, uh, I believe, the same time of the case. Has a zippo click. Works great. On the back, let me just wipe these fingerprints off because it is a high polish chrome zippo. There is a pretty bad scratch right here because this uh, what did not come with the box, and uh, I guess it just got scratched. I actually paid eighteen dollars for this zippo. If you can believe that, it's it's a pretty nice zippo for only eighteen bucks, and um, I guarantee it was worth more than that. Okay, so let's take a look at the bottom here. Try to reflect the light into there. Perfect. There we go. As you can see on the bottom of the Zippo, it says that it was made in A of XVI, I believe that says. I'm sorry, I can't really see it that well. I'm looking through the viewfinder. But I believe that says XVI. And then on the bottom it says Bradford PA, made in the USA. And the A of XVI means January of 2000. So it is a fairly old Zippo. But uh, still in really good shape. Pretty good condition. As you can see there, and uh, I'm not too sure. Maybe you can leave me a comment telling me what you what you think. Um, this says Zippo Sports, so I believe that this is the basketball edition. Maybe they have a soccer edition or baseball or football. Or you can just let me know in the comments if you know the answer because I was searching, I couldn't figure it out if they had different Zippos in this collection of Zippos. Uh, but this is the one I have in that collection. I'm thinking it's a collection, and uh, it says Zippo Sports on the top, and then it has the picture. But there's nothing else anywhere else. So, but it is a very high polish. As you can see, it picks up fingerprints like crazy. And uh, it does wipe up pretty nicely. As you can see here, nice and shiny now. Just that one scratch on the back. Uh, but that's okay. Let's go into my collection. So I'm currently trying to find a uh, case so I can put all my Zippos in. Um, so that I can display them because I don't use them. I, it's mostly for the collection purpose. I do have one or two that I actually have put fluid into, but uh, it's all right. You know, it's no big deal uh, if I don't have one yet. But eventually, I want to have a case or some kind of uh, way of displaying these because they are very nice zippos. They're beautiful, and uh, you know, one day I want to show everybody this zippo. So, sorry, I just hit the camera. Okay, so as you can see here, very nice zippo. It has a lot of detail. Let me just zoom in here so you can see. You can see that the texturing on the shirt, you can see texturing on his shirt. You can see the basketball has the lines on there. Let me show you that. As you can see, there's a lot of detail in this picture. The only thing I'm not too happy about it is that uh, it is a high polished chrome and it does collect fingerprints very easily. But once it's in a case and it's mounted on the wall, I'm not going to be touching it. And then my fingerprint's gonna stay there, so it doesn't doesn't bother me that you know it's high polish because eventually this will be going into a case. Okay, so if you were younger and you remember collecting basketball cards or baseball cards or something like that, this kind of reminds me of that because it has like the the basketball player on there, and the graphics just kind of remind me of a basketball card. Uh, I know it's not obviously it's a Zippo, but it just kind of reminds me of it. You know, seeing the the graphics, and it actually does have a little bit of texturing. It's, as you can see, it's like raised a little bit you can see that it's raised a little little bit a little bit I'm actually gonna look into it maybe I'll get the rest of the collection if there is a collection because um, this is obviously not just a one of a kind kind of thing they must have had a uh, run of Zippo sports edition or something like that and had a soccer one a baseball one a football one hockey they must have had a whole bunch but I haven't seen any uh, anything on that yet, so I'm looking forward to uh, finding the rest of the Zippos and maybe having a little sub-collection in my collection. 
So that would be really cool. And I really appreciate all my subscribers subscribing to me. I try to put videos up every day. And uh, if you would like to subscribe to me, go right ahead. Okay, so if you'd like to subscribe to me, I'll put an annotation in this video so you can go and subscribe to me. And if you would like to uh, check me out on Twitter, this is how you spell my Twitter name. I'll put the annotation in this video. Uh, just basically saying my Twitter name. It's Mr. Porkchop Boy, just like on YouTube. And uh, don't forget to give me a comment. Tell me what you think uh, if there's a Zippo collection with Zippo Sports on it. Because I'm, I'm actually really interested in finding out if they have zip, different Zippos with um, different sports on there. So please let me know in the comment section below. Have a nice day.